Mexico. I'm here with uh, Pete Mitchell at the uh, Sono Spring Championships at Draycott Water. Um, hard day on the water for you, Pete. Mixed uh, emotions? Yeah, three ups and downs. Um, Stuff the first race. Uh, hit the river mark, round in fourth. Um, ended up rounding 20th in the end after the interns. Pretty painful. Um, picked myself up, got a bullet in the next race, that was good. And the race after that, got a black flag. <laughs> Even better. And uh, last race, uh, Second at one point, canned it and got third. So, uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Down all over, but, um, it was right there. But, I mean, how, how do you find it, you know, regrouping after that, that black flag? Because you had spent a lot of time just sitting around out there waiting for the, uh, for the last race yeah, to start. Um, did, you, did you beat yourself up or are you kind of just kind of pretty, you know, put it to one up. side? Probably beat myself up next week or tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I'm all right now. Well, maybe your dad will beat you up. I don't know. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, it'll be you. All right. Okay. Well, well done for your race win, and uh, it's always good to see you out in the water. Yeah, I'm here with uh, Charlie Cumley at the Solo Spring Championships 2015, uh, Drake on Water. Uh, hard day on the water, Charlie. Uh, yeah, it's had its moments for sure. Uh, there's a nice bit of breeze at the beginning, and then that was sort of dragging my belly around quite nicely. But uh, <laughs> it dropped off, and I um, just didn't sail very well in the last two races. But uh, it was quite enjoyable. Four races, good to get plenty of time on the water, and uh, Taxi and Fenders absolutely nailed it. So good on him. Well, you've got a second and a third, and, a, and something in the in the in the very low teens. So, yeah. and there's a lot of sailors seem to be having similar kind of, yeah, you know, some, similar sort of results. So, take taxi aside, like everyone's yeah, kind of it's a bit a of a bun fight. Yeah, ones, yeah. <laughs> you can call it that. Yeah, yeah, in the polite way. And what about your plans for this year? Uh, we'll do still, you know, with the solo, still the major events um, at the nationals. Hopefully, looking forward to that. It should be a great event for North Berwick and. And then just interspersed with the OK, so a little bit less sort of solo training, if you like, and a bit more of that. But and where, where are you? Have you is the OK Worlds in? Are you going to those? Or have you got a target yeah, for those? Yeah, so the, the Worlds are in Poland uh, in July, the week before the Nationals, actually. Is that uh, on the sea, or is it in a great big lake? It's, or It's kind of like a sea, but it's got a massive sort of island, sort of breakwater, so it's kind of a bit like Medemblik kind of thing. You know, it's somewhere to ideal, but uh, it should be quite nice. OK, well, good luck with that. Glad, I'm glad you're still putting to timing in, in the solo. And uh, also thanks to North Sales for sponsoring this Super Series. Pleasure. Uh, very generous of you, and uh, we've got other sponsors on board as well as a result yeah. of that, and it makes for a great series. Well, hopefully it will be. Thanks very much, Cheers, Charlie. Cheers. Then. Thanks. Matthew. Right, uh, I'm here at the uh, Spring Championships at Draycott Water. Um, this is uh, race four winner. I don't know who you are. What's your name? Tom Lonsdale. Tom Lonsdale. I know your name now, Tom Lonsdale. Well, congratulations. Well done for winning, uh, winning race four. Um, how, how, tell me about that race, start uh, to finish. Well, I just nailed the pin, went off to the left-hand side of the course, managed to tack and get a nice lift into the mark, and then just led the rest of the way around, really. Yeah, good. Uh, you've, I mean, uh, you've been saying these solos a while, haven't you? I've heard your name in, mentioned a few times. Um, or On off, really. Yeah, so uh, what, other, what other boats do you sail then? Lasers or? Merlin uh, Rockets. Merlin Rockets? Okay. So how do you find a solo? Uh, yeah, it's nice, quite comfortable sail. I suppose you find it pretty easy to race as well, since you just won that race. <laughs> so, no, <I'm> <laughs> are you gonna think you're going to do any more events this year, or in the solos? Um, if I can, yeah, I'm quite busy with the OKs and, and Merlins, but yeah. And um, what sort of uh, weight are you? About 88 kilos. 88 then. kilos, yeah. Okay, I'm fighting fit. Yeah. All right, good. Well, congratulations. Uh, thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Nice one, mate. Well done, Andy Davis. Congratulations. Thank you. Winner of the uh, Solo Spring Championship 2015 here at Draycott. Uh, two bullets and a third. Second. Two bullets in a second? Yeah. Right, fantastic. And what about that last race? Uh, last race, um, yeah, it was tricky. It was tricky to get off the start line, actually. And there was a bit of a, a, bit of a left shift a quarter of the way up. And, um, yeah, which quite a few boats came in from the left and decided to pay, really. So, talk me, talk me through your day. Take me through Take me through your race wins. Yeah, race wins? Crikey, I can't remember what happened. Um, I think the, the first race, yeah, it was, Charlie was out in front most of the race, and then creeping closer and closer and then uh, I was a bit quicker down wind and we got to the lured mark and I managed to hold him out uh, at the lured mark and I got the overlap and got the inside and just covered it to the finish and mm -hmm. then um, the other race that I won I, um, I led around the wind with mark and 
I just had to just out in good clear air. I saw that one because it went a bit light, didn't it, at one point, but you actually extended your yeah, lead on the next beat. Uh, but I just seemed to have some good boat speed through the light stuff and through the bad conditions and pulled out and uh, sailed off into the distance. And so tell me about this uh, sail you've got up here today. Uh, this, a, is, uh, this is a new prototype sail that we're, uh, we're developing at the moment. So it's a, uh, it's a laminate that uh, you see a lot in the print class. We've had to ask the commission to use it. It's a contender sail cloth. Um, so yeah, we've been asked, we've, we've, been, we've been, got permission to use it, and it's um, it's a it's a laminate which you can build the sail cross cut, um, and it's got a bit more yarn in, in all the direction of the uh, of the load path of the leech, so it just makes it nice and stable in the leech for a wind. But we can actually build the sail quite deep, so it gives us a nice powerful okay. sail. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. It's it'll it'll flatten off. And, um, and give us a good upwind. And it's a, you're on a D plus, are you? I am, yes. D plus, yeah. yeah okay. And uh, plans for this year? Plans for this year, uh, more solo sailing, uh, off to North Berwick, and uh, yeah, try and fit in uh, as much sailing as possibly can with the kids. <laughs> well, congratulations, Andy. Thank All right, well done. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much.